hey, welcome back to another episode of Schofield Wealth. And guys, before we get into this video, which I'm really excited about, we're going to be talking about the Dynasty 400. I got to clarify one thing at the beginning of the video. At the beginning of the video, I have the leads reversed on this machine, and they're backwards. And one of the reasons being is when you TIG weld off of a Pro 400 or a Pipe Pro 400 or an engine drive machine, you swap your leads to TIG weld with. So, um, I did that. I went old school, Rick and did it on this machine. Well, this machine is a lot smarter than I am, and it actually will do it for you. So one of the things you can do is once you hook up your stinger, so this is hooked up right, your stinger goes in the top, your ground is in the bottom, and in the bottom quick connects, and then you're gonna hit right here. Now this is gonna be AC, DC, and then you're gonna come over to your process and you're gonna put, you know, uh, TIG high frequency impulse, TIG lift arc, or stick. So you just start bumping where it's stick. It automatically does it for you. So you guys, just keep that in mind at the beginning of the video. You are going to notice the leads are swapped, but uh, through the video, we swap the leads back and we're rocking and rolling. So, guys, hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave us a comment, let us know what you think of these videos, and uh, leave us some suggestions on other videos, other things that you guys are interested in, things that we can probably build or put out on the YouTube channel for you guys. So, everybody, have a great rest of your night. Be blessed. We'll talk to you here in a bit. See ya. Today's episode, we are talking about the new Dynasty 400, the Miller Dynasty 400. This machine has been awesome. I have been on the road for quite a while, so I don't have the experience with the machine like I would like, but we have welded a little bit of aluminum with it, and um, we're getting ready to weld some stick with it. So basically, um, I have a test coming up tomorrow. I have to go get a set of procedures built, and, and then I have to test for the procedures, and then the procedures are for my company. We're going to use the Dynasty 400 to run some practice coupons with it. Some 2 inch Schedule 80, pretty simple stuff. But uh, we'll throw it up in a 6G and then um, we'll show you how to set this up for stick. And later on through the videos and things like that, we'll show you how to set it up for stainless and for aluminum and all sorts of different things. So anyways, you guys stick around. We love you all. Be blessed. Just got our coupons over here. So what we did is we I went out and I beveled two, four, five coupons, which is gonna give me four practice welds. Now guys, when I get ready for a test or I start practicing for a test, I want to run multiple of the same thing over and over. So I've got four root passes I'm gonna put in, I got four hot passes, I got four caps I'm gonna do. This test for this, for this job that I'm bidding right now, it's a steam line, so we're gonna put a downhill root in, which I had the procedure specifically put in a downhill root. So the procedure states, I'm gonna go downhill on my route and then we'll LH it the rest of the way up. Um, I'm gonna get all these tacked up so they're ready to go. We'll throw them up in a 6G position and then, uh, then we'll go from there. Guys, this is a water-cooled system too. So when we start getting into the TIG and all that, I'm gonna start showing you the water-cooled side of this thing. It's freaking amazing, especially for aluminum, especially for aluminum because you are running with so much heat. That, uh, that you'd burn a torch up if it didn't have the water-cooled system in it. So. Then what we got is we need to set this thing up to stick weld off of. So we're gonna turn it on. Now this machine's pretty super explanatory, super easy to set up. One of the things Miller does, which I really like, is they actually give you a cheat card, which in order to set this thing up, there's so many options and so many variables to it that to have the cheat card is it's really the only way to do it. I mean, it's gonna show you how to set up for steel alloys, like your stainless, your nickels, your copper alloys, and then it'll show you how to set up for the aluminum or magnesium and then stick and blah, blah, blah. It'll walk you through the steps. So if you're a little intimidated by stuff like that, don't even worry about it. It comes with a card and 
it's gonna walk you through it. So basically, we're not gonna worry about that right now. We're just doing sticks, so it's super easy. Come over here to your process. There's a high frequency TIG, or there's TIG, TIG lift arc or stick, and you just push it until stick lights up. Now we're on stick, we're at 110 amps. We can control our amps from here, which I think we're gonna stick right around about 105 amps to tack these together, and then we're gonna see how that kind of pans out, and we'll go up and down from there, so. Just finishing up with the first little uh, the little test. We had to go in and watch the kids for a little while, so that's why it's kind of dark out here. But got done with this. The Dynasty is amazing, super smooth machine, very controllable. Um, one of the things I like about it is you can change everything on the interface. So with my Pro, it's actually reading what the arc is doing. And so in order to walk to the machine and change it, I actually have to stop welding let the machine set where it needs to go, turn it down, and then continue welding. So with this one, it is what it is. So you're set on 68, down five, 63, like you, you can control it off of the face. It does have uh, the 14 pin connector for the foot pedal, or I believe the brick remote too, which I love the brick remote. But anyways, you guys, Awesome machine, super great machine. Stay tuned for more videos on the Dynasty 400. We're gonna start hooking up aluminum. We're gonna start doing some stainless. The boys are gonna start practicing with some stainless. And uh, yeah, anyways, I think we're ready to test first thing in the morning. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. So everybody be blessed, we love you all. See you in a while.